Only on two, this Illinois nun was almost taken to jail while trying to protect a dying friend. This near arrest was over a dispute about the friend's last wishes. Now, CBS 2's Lauren Victory explains a new law that could help people avoid something like she experienced. How long do you think you knew Sister Joan? Oh, since the 70s. Sister Maureen Clancy and Sister Joan McGovern spent years living and working together. That sacred bond led to a special role as Sister Joan grew sick and made this request. I'm ready to meet my God and I just do not ever want to return to the hospital. With this official power of attorney for health care form, Sister Clancy became Sister Joan's medical decision maker. It's an honor to be able to represent a person when they are unable to represent themselves. The time came on Sister Joan's 90th birthday at her Homer Glen nursing home. I stayed with her through that night and the sisters here gathered in silent prayer with her as she transitioned to the next life. That peaceful goodbye took a turn when first responders arrived and wanted to start CPR. Sister Clancy objected, but her power of attorney documents weren't handy. Where is your paperwork? Well, without paperwork, you are nothing. Things escalated in the room as the retired nun argued with medics about her friend's dying wishes. I um, blocked the body so they could not start CPR. And he said, you will be arrested. Sister Clancy did not leave in handcuffs because someone scrambled to find the physical papers needed. To prevent others from the same stress, she contacted lawmakers. This is an incredible example of the difference that one person can make. State Representative Jennifer Gongershowitz helped pass a modernized power of attorney bill. What this new legislation does is enable somebody to allow their power of attorney to be shown on a digital device. Prayers answered, but Sister Clancy is also hoping word gets out. I give permission to my agent to store this electronically. That has to be written in there. The updated rules go into effect January 1st. Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Illinois Department of Public Health is supposed to update its website with that new power of attorney for health care form. We asked about it. We are told that it is currently a work in progress. For now, contact your lawyer with any questions.